Just how much does where Kevin Durant wants to go, how much does that play into the decisions that the Nets are making here? Listen, I think, you know, you look from the other side. If you're a Miami, you're a Phoenix, you're a team that believes Kevin Durant would like to be uh, in your city, in your franchise, I think they're more motivated to get deals done, to give, the, you know, the maximum of assets that they can. And certainly teams where they'd go, if Kevin Durant wouldn't be terribly happy here, do we want do we want an unhappy Kevin Durant? We mm. saw that at the end in Golden State. We saw it here at the end in Brooklyn. But I think especially for smaller market teams, non-destination market teams, they don't ever get a chance at a player like Kevin Durant in free agency. And you know, maybe they can get fortunate like Oklahoma City and draft them and have them, you know, for a couple of contracts. But this is the rare opportunity to do that. And I think a team that's lurking and is going to lurk in this is Toronto. They have mm. um, all the kinds of uh, pieces that you would want uh, and their picks to do a deal for Kevin Durant. And they have an organization, a uh, leader in Masai Ujiri, um, who certainly saw that the, the chance he took on Kawhi Leonard with one year left on his deal. Uh, how far are the Raptors willing to go in an offer to Brooklyn? Would they offer Scotty Barnes? I think that's a player that Toronto, almost under any circumstances, would not like to part with. But having him on their roster, Pascal Siakam, all the other talented players, contracts that might match up, I think you keep watching Toronto to see how involved they might get for Kevin Durant. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.